today let's see how we can um, save and drag a stocks as well as mutual funds here okay so uh, if you consider mutual funds and stocks are basically your assets um, so that's why it will go to assets section uh, it won't go anywhere in equity or expenses um, so let's go ahead and create um, stocks like uh, so let's go ahead and here to create a folder here so that uh, we will always know the total investments in or like mutual funds overall as well as total investments overall in stocks so let's go ahead and create placeholder accounts mutual funds <coughs> And uh, make sure you mark them as placeholders so that uh, but you won't uh, include, uh, you won't directly add a transaction by mistake. Okay, now we have both mutual funds and stocks are ready. Let's go ahead and create sub accounts, which will be individual funds that you have invested or individual stocks you have invested. Let's start with stocks go ahead and create a new account here we need to select mutual fund from the account type so hit the stock so stocks from the account type and uh, account name for the uh, whatever stock here that you're on investing let's take um, HDFC bank and uh, different one thing different from normal um, other accounts here is that you need to select a, a security or currency this is basically the uh, value that you are going to invest since it is not INR it is basically a count how many uh, number of stocks you have you need to create a new kind of security here so you can select uh, the type of currency um, like uh, in the US you can actually track um, NYSE, NASDAQ, uh, or like funds in the US, but since Indian stock market is not supported here, you will have to create it. Like it doesn't matter which option you select. So we'll go ahead and create a new security. So full name will be HDFC Bank, and uh, symbol will be HDFC B N K, and display symbol is same HDFC B N K and type will you can since like i told you before it is not supported for the way i do is that i either select nasdaq or nyse so let's select nasdaq for now and the fraction since indian stock market doesn't allow fractional trading uh, we can delete from the thousands from there um okay and create okay and now we have hdfc bank with the uh, type of uh, security which is in terms of uh, the stock ticker symbol HDFC bank has and now we have the account ready if you see um, the account name is HDFC bank and the total is in terms of um, the number of uh, stocks that you have in HDFC bank ticker so let's go ahead and make a transaction here so that it will be more clear and here I'm going to purchase um, as transaction will be from my bank account uh, savings bank account I purchased 10 shares of uh, 900 rupee uh, price uh, and the buy will be basically buy or sell will be based on the total so since it is what this uh, no cash will automatically calculate it so we, we can just empty it and uh, press tab um, and the multiply will happen automatically now if you go ahead and see here uh, you can see that HDFC bank 10 shares of HDFC banks I have and the advantage of having a placeholder folder is that it will show the sum of uh, all uh, existing uh, stock value here so you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to manually consider what's the current worth and um, so now I have HDFC bank I'll go ahead and create one more account so that uh, the summary will be easily identified um, let's take a stock which uh, is having a different ticker symbol than uh, 
different ticket symbol than the 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 actual name so we have avenue supermarket and uh, their symbol is actually so select stock from here uh, and that actually their ticket symbol is uh, dmart so if you select on loan currency it is not there we'll have to create it so full name is avenue supermarket and uh, the symbol is dmart display symbol is dmart so since i selected nasdaq before i am selecting i'm going to put all the stocks under the same uh, category and uh, we don't have india doesn't allow fractional trading okay and uh, then so now we have uh, avenue supermarket here and let's go ahead and make a purchase here as well and uh, assets um, bank account I am going to buy per 5 shares of 2000 rupees and press tab okay so if you have noticed it is 19,000 here and as a total investment from uh, 10,000 from any supermarket as well as uh, 9,000 from HDC bank so total of 19,000 now let's assume that today price of avenue ma supermarket reduced to thousand so i'm going to add an entry one uh, so one thing you can understand is that like you just need to fill uh, either one of uh, price buy or sell so uh, remaining will automatically calculate so i'm going to enter thousand here so the price will be automatically calculated by you know cash and now one interesting thing that you notice is that even though you spent 11,000 rupees purchasing Avenue supermarket, your current value of six stocks is 6,000 rupees because current price is 1,000. And this will actually reflect in the sum uh, shown along with the stocks. So even though I spent um, 11,000 and 9,000, uh, a total of 20,000, the current value is 15,000. So uh, the total value shown here will always be current value. And uh, another thing you can identify is that there is something called a security editor. Here, if you even if you're not adding a transaction, if you want, you can go ahead and uh, add the value. Sorry, not this one, um, price database. Yeah, so go here if you go here you can see that there are two price values for 29th and 30 and uh, if you want one more uh, data point you can go ahead and uh, create here like 24th with the value or something else so this can be done if even when you're not entering a transaction th which will reflect the total value here and also another thing here if you look at the bottom section it will show total shares um, i have six uh, total shares of dmart as well as six thousand uh, total uh, value that is stocks and now let's go ahead and uh, handle mutual funds so mutual funds works in the same way as stocks um, like like we created uh, stocks you need to select account type of mutual fund um, call it the mutual add the mutual fund name. Let's call it UTI NFT 50. Uh, you can add a description if you want. Um, so we need to create a new security type. Full name will be UTI NFT 50. And uh, display symbol you can actually decide. Indian uh, mutual fund industry doesn't have a display symbol, so you can. Uh, decide what you want to put it here so you can put UTI in 50 and uh, account type so since you selected NASDAQ uh, like NASDAQ for stocks we can see that fund is here so we'll select fund for that mutual funds do allow fractional trading so look at the uh, data on your mutual fund uh, if you don't know keep it as it is uh, or if you know that it allows only two fractions uh, or three fractions make changes based on that there is also an option to get um, automatically fetch uh, current value uh, 
uh, from online which I don't generally use because um, my purpose is not to get this data updated like every day or anything it is like whenever I am making a new transaction I uh, worry about the total value I don't I don't want to have a um, day, day daily based value updated reflected here so if you want you can uh, select this and uh, you can change uh, the source of data where the dot data is coming you will also have to install um, additional uh, dependencies so that it can be automatically fetched from online okay let's go ahead and uh, create one and uh, save so now you have a new security UTI uh, nifty 50 and uh, we have a um, sub mutual fund here so same way we created um, mutual fund um, we will have to create a new transaction here purchase asset it is coming from bank account and shares uh, so mm, mutual funds have the uh, NAV value so price here will be the NAV value that you're pointing and you are going to buy whatever amount you are actually not buying the number of shares you are actually buying with the price as well as the amount you are putting it I'm going to put 50,000 uh, with the NAV of 23 rupees and if you pull fill this and press tab it will automatically calculate number of units that you purchase of that uh, mutual fund and your current balance one thing I forgot to mention is that you most probably will be buying stocks from your brokers account uh, you'll be first transferring your money to your broker wallet and then you will be buying individual stocks from there so the way to handle that is that you need to create a, a new account placeholder if you are planning to have multiple uh, multiple brokers or multiple uh, wallets so I'm going to put it as wallet because uh, this is actually the, the online virtual wallet that you are going to like this will have all the wallet that you're going to have so create a wallet account and inside that you can have the mutual fund uh, sorry uh, the stock brokers account name so I'm going to put Sarada there and it is like uh, remaining you don't have to change you just put here and uh, when you uh, make when you open the account you can make the initial transfer so you will be having wallet load so it, this wallet load will be coming from your bank account and I'm going to put uh, 50,000 here and my current balance is this so now if you notice um, so since we already created this uh, we can go back and uh, change these transactions which we put in stocks to the actual wallet so here you can go here and uh, edit this asset and change it to set of the wallet you can also copy and paste here so both these will be having uh, transaction change to set of the. so so now if you notice um, the wallet load since we forgot to input it is coming as coming below the actual transaction which is causing negative balance in the initial stages so one way to solve this is you can put the number order number here so that uh, the transaction will be ordered based on that so we can put one here two three and this will make sure wait, what happened to three oh this is in a different day okay uh, so this is in a so this order applicable only on, only after the date uh, order is applied so order this order doesn't matter so if you are changing this day to today and then changing to three this will have an impact otherwise it won't have okay that is another thing you can uh, learn and uh, um, so mutual funds most probably you'll be buying directly from your um, bank account so this is fine so uh, wallet here and uh, if you have any transaction which uh, goes negative that means that either you um, made transaction from an incorrect account or your actual balance is going negative 
So um, like I can increase this to I as in if I put one lag initially. So this will be fine. So now if we go here, my uh, for I have forty thousand left in my savings account. I have fifty thousand in my mutual fund. I have fifteen thousand in terms of stock and my uh, brokerage. My broker account has. Uh, 39,000 balance um, that's all for today tomorrow um, I can uh, give more information on uh, either creating different accounts or uh, creating common transactions uh, so bye for now